Today, the House came together to do our jobs to continue this battle. And believe me, this is not the end. This is the beginning of a continued fight to secure our border, to get government spending under control, and to get our economy back on track. And that means for the next 45 days, we're going to be working through the remaining issues. As the Speaker talked about, starting Monday, we're coming back here in the House to continue the appropriations process. The House has now passed over 70 percent of government funding in the appropriations bills. We've passed those bills over to the Senate. The Senate has taken up zero appropriations bills that they've passed. So it's time for the Senate to start doing their job. It's time for the appropriations process to keep moving forward. The House is going to keep moving forward with the remaining appropriations bills. All the bills that are still out there, both sitting to come to the floor, some there are two that are still in committee, all those are going to be moving in the next few weeks. Starting Monday, we will be back here working on those remaining appropriations bills. But as I will remind everybody, over these last few days, you saw the House pass over 70 percent of funding of government appropriations bills to the Senate with the priorities of the House to address our border crisis, to address getting our economy back on track, to get our military focused on the threats that are posed by countries like China. And so that focus will continue. Our work will continue. There is a lot of work left to be done. There's another 45 days. That doesn't mean that what just happened today ends. That means these next 45 days, we're going to be busy working here in the People's House. It's time the Senate do that same aggressive form of work. And it's long past time that Joe Biden get engaged in this process as well. He opened the southern border. He created a mess that has riveted the entire nation to the point where Republican mayors, Democrat mayors, Democrat mayors who are switching to Republican because they're fed up with the open southern border and the damage it's causing not just to our southern border, the damage it's causing to every community in America who is now a border town because they're seeing the deaths from the fentanyl overdose. They're seeing people coming across in every community, people on the terrorist watch list, coming across by the thousands every single day. And Joe Biden hasn't cared about this crisis. The American people care about it. House Republicans care about it. We have now continued to push and will continue to push over these next 45 days to get this border crisis solved as we work to solve all of the other problems holding our country back. With that. Bring up the man who works to get the votes today. Strong, strong vote. Uh, our whip, Mr. Emmer.